Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing a little get ready with me. I'm gonna be using some of my favorite products to achieve this look. And I'm also gonna be using some products from Shop Miss A. It's a site where you guys can pick up $1 makeup. I will have a link to their site down below in the description. So when I get to each one of the products, I will share with you exactly what they are. Shop Miss A is also sponsoring a portion of this video today. So thank you to Shop Miss A for working with me. I'm gonna start off with the Ella Luz Beauty Oil. This is so great to nourish the skin. So I'm just gonna add a little bit. And blend it in. For foundation, I'm gonna go in with the NARS Soft Matte Foundation, and then probably just like a drop or two of the Natural Radiant from NARS. I love to mix my foundations if you guys are new here. To blend the foundation, I'm gonna go in with this beauty sponge. This is from Shop Miss A, and it's their Wonder Blender. This one's a little bit over $1, but that's because the proceeds go to charity, so I think that's awesome. This sponge is so incredibly soft. Honestly, beats like some high-end ones. Such a good bounce to it, and does not soak up a lot of product at all. Also, that's what I love about Shop Miss A as well, is that some of the proceeds do go to different charities. So this one goes for animals in need, which I think that is so incredible. We love that, stand for that. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Shop Miss A concealer. So this one's in the shade Nude. A little bit right here. I think this is such a full coverage concealer. You really don't need a lot. I think I actually just put too much. That's how much coverage you get with this. So I'm just gonna start off by blending it with the point of the beauty sponge. Yeah, wow. And then just bringing it over here. That one reminds me so much of a higher end one. I can't put my finger on which one it is, but it's definitely like full coverage. I've been using that for about a year and I absolutely adore it. I'm gonna also just put a little bit right into the forehead and down my nose. Taking a little bit of the Persona Contour Stick. This is in the shade Sahara. And I'm just gonna pop a little bit right here and then blend that in. I'm gonna use the same sponge to blend it in. Gonna go with this cream blush from Shop Miss A as well. And this is in the shade Cupid. It's a really nice and creamy formula. Love that. I'm actually gonna apply it with my fingertips because you get so much product. And I'm just gonna put it in the areas I normally apply my blush. So to the apples, but bringing it up into the contour area. That just really lifts the face. It gives a little bit of color. It's really, really pigmented. So you do want to apply it now. Like before you set down any makeup is when you would want to apply this so it doesn't like stick onto the powder or anything. And then take the sponge and diffuse it into the skin a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set the underneath of my eyes down using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And I'm putting a touch of the Revolution powder in here as well. This is in the banana shade. So I just put a touch of that in here and I'm gonna use my powder puff to just apply right under here. And then I'm just gonna dust away the excess. I'm gonna take the NARS bronzer in the shade Laguna and then just kind of disperse it into like the blush area just so everything blends evenly together. Now I'm gonna get into the eyes just a little bit. I'm gonna go into this little quad palette from Shop Miss A as well. This is their AOA Flower Child palette. It has a really nice pop of green in here, which is very stunning. I'm gravitating towards this deeper shade. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna take this shade right here all over the lid, give a little bit of a wash. Super subtle, but I'm going for a really nice and natural eye look. Something that you can do on the everyday, really fast, but still be put together. I cannot get over the fact that it's $1. It applies great with a brush, but I'm gonna use my finger as well, just to pop it on like so. So I'm gonna take a shade from this CoverGirl palette, which is a nice light tan shade, to the crease very, very lightly and bringing it outwards like so. This is just gonna make the eyes look a little bit bigger and apply this beautiful champagne shade, so much pigment to it, like, Look at that reflect. I'm going to pop a little bit to the center. So pretty. 
deep green shade right here on a defined brush. I'm gonna run that to the lower lash line area. Put a little bit of a nude eyeliner into the inner waterline. That just makes everything pop so much more. I'm gonna take an even smaller brush, to be honest. Really close to the waterline and just smoking it lightly. Just a really pretty, like, deeper green. I love this. You can have it being a really subtle line. You can smoke it out to be really dramatic. That is all up to you. I just think the slightest pop makes the biggest difference. Like, less is more sometimes. I add a touch more once I do my lashes. Laura Mercier Translucent Light Catcher. This is basically like a setting powder, but it has a beautiful luminosity, like, sheen to it. It's gorgeous. So I'm gonna spritz my face first going to sweep like right on these areas and you see it just gives the most subtle effect oh so pretty then i'll go in with a little bit of a cream highlight right on top of these high points but right here just sweep like so it just looks so beautiful I spritz my face up with the elf setting mist it makes a world of a difference when you do this after a setting spray or if you're spraying in between steps of makeup I think constantly pressing it into the skin, it just looks that much more natural. Then I'm gonna be going in with the Shop Miss A Cream Highlighters. This is their Velour Highlighter. You can make these look so natural or you can make it look like a beaming glow. Right now, I'm just applying a tiny amount to the high point, but a little bit of this glow is gorgeous. It looks like it's coming from underneath your skin. It's just so pretty. For lashes, I'm taking the Salon Perfect 614. I'm gonna go put those on and I'll be right back. I'm gonna be taking the Wander Beauty Mascara. This is the Upgraded Lashes. And I'm actually not going to apply any to the lower today. And when I apply mascara, I don't know if you've noticed, but I like to blink on it and never really bring it into the like lash area too much, just keeping it into the root. And you still have the falsies being free of mascara up here, looking the most natural. So I'm actually going to add a little bit more and I'm going to take a tiny bit of that other green in there, the sage green with it, and just apply a little bit more with a little more pressure. This color will really make like brown eyes pop. So pretty. But I feel like for like the fall time or like the winter time, a pop of green that's like subtle like this and not like neon. Definitely like in this tone, I think looks so stunning. So just like diffusing it in. For lips, I'm gonna be going in with the LA Girl Shockwave Lip Liner. This one's in the shade Gingerbread. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the new Milani lipstick in the shade Tease and put that right to the center. Taking the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Champagne Glam, I'm going to apply a tiny, tiny amount. Once I've done that, that completes this look. Super simple, and I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you guys in my next one.